guys welcome back welcome to my channel sit back relax because i am about to tell you a very short story like some of you know i am a new immigrant in canada is it really new i am about eight months old in canada and on this channel i like to give everything i know about canada my experience basically everything about living in canada as a new immigrant and everything in between okay so for today goodness guys when i found out about this place i could not cry you know you're just migrating into a different country a new country you'll be stocking up you'll be furnishing your house and everything by the way most houses if you are renting a house i rented my house by the way if you've not seen that video it is somewhere in my channel or somewhere on my channel kindly see that video where i showed my house tour where i stay currently in canada is rented and when it comes it comes like empty you have to stock up the house you have to like buy household stuff and everything the mistake i made which i don't want you to make is that when you come don't rush to buy things kind of like settle down find out because guys there is information <laughs> in this canada there is like i have found out so many places i even share this on my instagram as well if you are not following me on instagram please kindly follow me follow me on instagram at the tomi adinoga i share many things there as well any little hack anything i find out that would like benefit us i share it there so what is the moral of the story there are things or there are stores that they call liquidation stores just like this one that i visited if you don't know i am currently in ontario i live in ontario canada one of the provinces in canada and i stay somewhere that they call hamilton in ontario canada okay back to the story this is a liquidation store they stock different things clothes household things like winter accessories anything there are different kinds of like with liquidation stores it depends on the owner to behold like what do i really want to sell in my liquidation store so they're like third parties they're not like your regular store so let's say for instance you buy something from amazon you buy something from costco these are big departmental stores that sell everything when you buy something from costco or from amazon or when people buy things from costco or amazon sometimes they return some of those items the store has to collect them but many times the store will not want to put them back on their shelf so what do they do they sell it out or they like i don't even know like give it out to these liquidation stores at like very ridiculous prices these liquidation stores which are like third parties like a business owner you can actually own a liquidation store too in canada that's a business idea okay these people now collect some of those items and they resell it to the public at a lower price so the same price of this winter suit you're saying is not the same price you will see it in costco let's say costco sells theirs for 25 dollars in the liquidation store you might find it for like 15 dollars or 12 dollars usually like maybe like 50 percent of the rate they usually decide how they want to like place their prices it depends some have like auction some have like just 50 percent reduction they just like have their they benchmark or they set their prices basically so there are two things i'll be telling you as you are like watching this you see this air fryer here this air fryer on a normal day cost over a hundred dollars i bought it for forty dollars guys and it was brand new brand new guys sometimes some of these items the packaging might have been open sometimes the packaging will still be intact and they are new items they are not thrift if it has been thrifted that has been used or tested they will definitely let you know you will see it in most of the liquidation stores many of them like see some of the see some of those things they're like underwear of course it has not been opened but probably maybe the bigger store had too many and probably people are not just buying they will also give them out to the liquidation store and to be sold for cheaper like it won't be the same price as what you will find it in those regular stores so some of them are not even returned items probably like they're like, like old season or like last season and probably the store just wants to like they want to like restock on new things they will like give out all those items to this third party store stores like many of those things i believe they've not been, even been opened yet like people have not even bought them yet so it depends on the reason why they are giving them to the liquidation stores they give them out for several reasons and guys 
you can find them at like cheaper prices like the boots on a normal day if you want to buy boots boots will cost you like from hundred dollars like this quality of boots on a normal day you're thinking of like hundred one fifty in this store it costs about forty dollars or twenty five dollars depending on the boots you're buying so guys even when I bought my furniture like I could not cry the kind of furniture I bought in the house was not what I would have really wanted but we just ordered it's like okay let's just buy furniture I was asking people people were not really telling me where i could get from so i ordered it from a particular online store it came it's not so bad but by the time i went to the liquidation stores there are the liquidation stores for furniture as well that it like they sell only furniture there are some that sell like furniture beddings different things you'll find a lot of them some sell only kitchenware it's just for you to research and to find out about the ones that are closest to you. And I believe you will be able to find them in any province that you are, like in Ontario, if you're in Manitoba, any province that you are, basically, they should have this kind of thing. So the idea is that before you go off to like buy things from those regular stores there are places like this these liquidation stores like i got to know about it in north america it might not be popular like in europe or something but i know in north america like or in canada there are liquidation stores you see that floor lamp it originally cost like 300 dollars that one i'm so happy for that one i bought it 60 dollars this black floor lamp that floor lamp i bought it for 60 dollars on a normal day the regular price was about $310 minus tax so guys that one I was so happy for that one like I said I had bought a lot of things already I had equipped my house buying things online but I now finally found out about this liquidation stores this is not the first one I got to know there are some I have gone to some that you don't have a lot of presence online so in my have to like actually like visit them on site some of them are like warehouses in your mind you'll be wondering that what is this that can any good thing come out from this place but by the time you carry it home <laughs> oh my goodness like you'll be so happy this stand mixer i was actually eyeing it but i didn't have enough money on this particular day on a normal day in the store it cost about like 300 dollars they were selling it for 120 dollars so i just went to another one to like show you that there are lots of them like i just googled like liquidation stores near me because i stay in ontario i googled like the ones near me in hamilton and i came across this ones so before i continue let me just tell you that sometimes some of these liquidation stores actually like like i said they put their prices so if you're patient and if you want to be diligent kindly benchmark those prices because you want to be sure that you're not spending too much or much more than what you're really like bargaining for most times most of the prices i have seen are correct they are good but just have that at the back of your mind just in case so if you didn't come with pot a pot set a cookware set you'll find them here those pot sets were about hundred dollars which i think is not bad if you're buying it from like a regular store you might be spending as much as like 300 or more depending on the quality so like this one i went to also they have a lot of kitchen stuff like me i am a kitchen freak like i love any, everything kitchen wire so i kind of like look out for places that they stock up on things like that and that is what gives me joy basically so like all this kind of like unique dainty things like I'll tell you for free if you're going to Walmart to like buy these things they will cost more of course if you want to like buy things from those stores I'm not telling you not to buy but I'm just saying this for the sake of if you have a budget you're working on a budget probably you're just coming into the country for me my first house in Canada is not the way I want to be of course when I have settled in very well I'll not be like okay let's start spending money on the expensive things and quotes and all that so this is just for me like okay let's just buy like basic things things that are just okay i'm just the most important thing for me now is to buy mugs that are okay i'm not so big right now and oh, okay let it just be so 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 quality that will come later definitely but for me personally i just want like things i can use for now and at the same time it's not as if the quality is even bad it's actually very good like i saw these containers the first thing I thought about was like Tommy, you're yeah, grabbing this, and I took it because I saw the price one ninety nine, like one dollar something. Ah, <laughs> guys, I couldn't just look past it. So that's the thing that when you go to all these stores, you see lots of things. I'd already bought like 
one thing onion pod where you can put onions like when you finish cooking and probably you have like leftover onions i bought one for five dollars in a different store i came here and i saw the one they were selling for about one dollar 25 cents like guys my head was hot and when i saw here the quality was so good like it was really so good i was like why was i not just patient this can opener i saw it in walmart for 15 dollars they are selling theirs for six dollars 99 like usually half of the price so if you're just coming into the country you're a new immigrant just google liquidation stores near me usually they will have things that are like quite affordable another thing like i would say many of those things you are seeing here you might find them in dollarama or the dollar stores and most times prices in the dollar store are not so bad so that's another place i shop really but it's not like you'll find everything in dollarama you won't find like clothes like you can wear out in dollarama you won't find like best sheets good best sheets in dollarama so i think this is somewhere that you can find some of these things like i said these people put their prices so sometimes some of the prices do not like make sense to me and it just depends on what you are really buying but to be very very honest nine out of ten times i have found stuff that are good people have also asked me where they can get like thermal wears from of course thermal wears are the things you wear before you wear your normal clothes because it is cold and this really helps for men for women for children you can find your thermal wares here i bought my children's thermal wares from a also like a similar liquidation store i put that one on like instagram i didn't put it here that's why i said you should follow me on instagram that was the first one i stumbled on that place is called treasure hunt and that one too they have a lot of treasures there like usually like half of the price so another thing i will tell you is that when you buy things from this place you might not be able to return them some allow you to exchange but you won't get your money back they won't refund you the max they can do for you is like exchange because they believe that they've already like reduced the prices so they just want to like sell it and sell it off they might not want to like collect those items back because how many times you want to return most of these things or some of these things are already like returned items so they just want to be sure that they are selling it off that's why sometimes they give it away at like ridiculous prices some of them i'll keep saying it please benchmark the prices if you have the time just like be very diligent be like watchful but i believe that you'll be able to get stuff from these places like i saw a lot of like home decor like their trip pillows were good like their decor like guys i couldn't like finish when i entered some of those stores i was like a kid in a candy store like i was like oh my god tell me why have you been <laughs> why have you been dwelling all this well but it's okay now we keep learning every day you won't learn everything in one day like i've been able to like go around these places and i've been able to i'll be able to like find good deals I was like, I can't keep this to myself. I just have to let these people know. I have to allow allow you guys know. Like, look at best sheets. In fact, the ones in this store were not so fantastic for me. The first store I went to was that one has my heart. So that that first store was called Liquidation Plus. If you are somewhere in Ontario, you are in Hamilton, just Google Liquidation Plus. Put it in your map. That's what I basically do. Once I know the name of the store I'm going to, is Google Map that takes me everywhere. I don't know my my way around this place is huge i don't even know anywhere so with the map fortunately anywhere you're going to once you just impute it on the map it will bring it out for you and before you know what is going on you're already there this other one i just googled like another liquidation store around me and i just put it on the map and that's it the first one i shared liquidation plus i highly recommend that place if you're in ontario if you're close to the gta if you're close to Hamilton, I would advise you to try those places. There are many others in the GTA. I've heard of a number of them in Nogville, in Mississauga. So if you're in the GTA, the Greater Toronto area, a lot of them are also there. Just ask. Just Google like liquidation stores around me. And if you know anybody that is around you, probably like a neighbor, someone that's has been in has been in Canada for a while, just tell them that oh you like to shop from liquidation stores. That can they guide you to where you can go to? I've heard of a number of them in 
like Mississauga, they do even have online presence. But when you enter that place, guys, like one of my friends bought a deep freezer from that place just because the deep freezer had a dent from the other store. They sold it from something that was like six hundred dollars. They sold it for like one fifty dollars. If you don't mind your deep freezer having a dent, of course, working in very good condition. If you don't mind, those are the kind of things you might be able to get. They sell like TVs. You don't even know what you will get. You might just enter one day. You just see them selling several things at like different prices so i just thought to like share this video with you to let you know of the opportunities that exist so that when you come into the country ask them for different things like furniture see this clock i fell in love immediately how much was it four dollars like can you imagine that i have clock in my house i grabbed it immediately guys thank you so much for watching if you feel this video made sense to you please kindly subscribe and kindly share with another friend i will see you in my subsequent videos bless ya bye